with the Jada Heights. Jada, thank you for hanging out with me. Of course. Um, so I just want to talk to you a little bit about basketball. I didn't have a chance to watch a lot of the games because I've been here, but one thing I did notice about you is you are one of the smaller girls on the court, yet you are kind of everywhere your team needs you to be. How have you grown into such a strong role and be able to hold your own um, being one of the smaller girls on the court? Well, growing up, I was always the smaller one, like, on the court all the time. So my dad and different coaches gave me different aspects to, like, add on to my game and how to perfect at what I am at and my, and my height growth. They all just tell me, don't use that, my height as an excuse. You have to just push for better, and you have to pretty much just put yourself different than everybody else. Since I was always not as tall or and my climbing not even that strong, but I, I got stronger. I am strong. And they just technically just told me, like, how to keep going as my way and my role, how to, where to get my shots at, when not to take them, how to pull it back out. It's just different things that all my coaches and my father and my mom just told me about to help me grow. And that's pretty much how I was able to perfect my game as a point guard. You seem like you have taken their critique and their advice very seriously, I can tell in your game. When, how old were you, I guess, when you realized, like, if you if you took that seriously, it could actually truly help you and make you better and maybe benefit you in the future when it comes to basketball? I would say at first, okay, I wouldn't take it as serious when I was in, like, seventh grade and eighth grade because my natural skill set, I was just already, like, better than everybody, so I was able to get my <laughs> shots off anywhere. But I would, take, I would say, like, it took me about my sophomore year in high school is where when I really started listening and observing what my coaches and parents was telling me, and I took it to the heart, and I knew that that's what they, they would do anything to put me in the best position. So that's pretty much when I just started to take it in and then like put it into my game and place and play. And that's when I was like, okay, this mic, this, this really could work. Like, they really know what they're talking about. Yeah. What do you do the best on the court? I would say, it goes 50-50, like my defense actually is, is getting way better, like it improved a lot. I get a lot of, I'm able to even guard taller guards now and get some dig downs, know when to reach and not to reach, like how to steal the ball, different ways, poke outs. I will also say like dribbling and F, get my players open, making everybody else around me better, that's very improvement. And an add-on, what my coach tell me is an add-on, is like I'm able to shoot the ball and do different things to be creative, to change up my game, which is great. What kind of training are you going through um, on a daily basis or however often you, you practice and train? Because the way you're talking about the game and how you um, break it down seems like it's a very high level. Like your basketball IQ is very, very high. So when you're training, what exactly are you doing? And are the coaches breaking it down for you so you're able to talk to me the way you are right now? <laughs> yes. Um, actually, at first it was very hard for me, but I train every day. Weight room. I do, I go to the weight room, it's either weight room or gym, weight room or gym. And it's actually, I had to work on my IQ a lot because at first I'm a visual learner. So when they will tell me something, I'm like, ah, you gotta show me. Uh, but I worked on that and they just helped me and just justify everything, put it as simple as possible at first. And then they just add on, add on, which I'm able to put together and it's just end up turning out great. Like, What is the biggest difference you find as a ball player uh, between high school basketball and AAU competition? What's different? I would say like high school basketball, um, the competition is more like structured, like structured, like more structured than like, it's more like, it's more structured and people like have like defense is more packed in, you know, it's not really like one-on-one. -on -one. They do different things like zoning and press. Yeah. They don't really like just do one-on-one -on -one play. But I will also say the difference is that it is a way to get you smarter and help you out and like to adjust to different things. And AAU, the competition, it's just that I like AAU because it's people all, people, mainly people all around you know what they're doing. It's just good. Yeah. Good basketball players all around you, so that gets you better too. So that's really that's really good. I like it. So that's pretty much the difference between the two to me. Either way, I just like to ball, so it's just it's just great to be around basketball either way. A lot of colleges right now, they just flirted with me. Like <laughs> Thanks, I'll be flirting back. Man, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. You know, but I'm just saying, like, I'm just waiting for a school to fully show me their full interest and show me that they love me and let me do what I love to do, which is play basketball. And don't try to change my game too much, but I know it's room to grow and get better always. But yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm still looking around, observing. I like, I like a lot of them. You know, I like, I like how they play. Everything. There's a lot of schools out there, but they just flirt with me now, right now. And nobody fully <laughs> showed me they want me all the way. So I feel like I'm getting a little slept on right now, but it's okay. I know the right one will come. God, of God, course, me. of course. Do you think? Um, are you
are you the type of person that would prefer staying closer to home, or do you really care? Does that kind of depend more on the, the school? Like, if you fall in love with the school, that kind of state you're going? Probably most like At first, I wasn't like that about like staying at home, and I just didn't care. I would go out of state just for like the love of it. But like at the same time, as I get older, it's like I like like the culture around my around my area and how people support me, my support like standards. Um, but I would go to any school that really loves me and just show me they're interested. So if a school is out of state and they just show me they want me, I'm pretty sure that people that really support me will go out there and support me. Yeah. So I'll pretty much, yeah, I'll go out of state if that's what it takes. I can tell 100% by just talking to you how much you love the game of basketball. So wherever it takes you, obviously you're going to do well, but how important is the support that you get from your family and friends? Um, you know, because you seem like you do well and you seem like you can do well on your own if you did go out of state or wherever, but how important is that support? Like, what, is, what does it mean to you and how important is it to you? It means a lot because I know they're going to always keep it, be real with me and keep it true. So if I don't have a good day, best believe they're going to be on me. <laughs> but at the same time, I just have to reflect. I might get defensive sometimes because yeah. it's serious to me. So when I know I don't do good, then I know they're going to be on my helmet right after that game. But I like, I love it because they go with me with the good and the bad. They're never like changing up on me. They always been there for me and to support me, which is really great. Like I would say I fell in love with the game of basketball. At first I was just like, I liked it and I was going, I I loved it. I, I pretty much, I would say I liked it, but I didn't really love it because I wouldn't do anything for it at first because it, I just was just going through the motion because it came so easy to me. But once I took a summer off and I realized when I came back, like ch stuff changed because I could tell that my game wasn't the same. I was out of shape. And then <laughs> so when I finally worked for it to get back in shape, and that's when I started learning. Like, I, I'm in love with this game because I worked hard to get back to where I was at before. Like, I didn't just lay down. And my parents was just on me just telling me, like, I'm telling you how good you are. Like, they, they see stuff in me that I don't even think I see all the way yet. And I'm pretty confident in my game. Yeah. But they see stuff like, they just tell me like my discipline is so hard for me. And I just take that in, try taking it in daily. I know I, some ways I need to take it more serious at times, but I just take it in daily and I just keep going from there.